Hey guys, Andy or Cobra Commander TFW here for another uh, Cobra Corner today. And I will be looking at two figures that I hold very near and dear to my heart from my childhood. Uh, Drillhorn and Jaruga, the Generation 2 or Generation 1.5 or whatever generation you want to call it. The one just after G1 and the one before G2 and that, that one. Uh, of the Rescue Force members, uh, Drillhorn and Jaruga. Uh, I, I bought these back from uh, when I lost them as a kid, uh, and I'm not sad to, to have them back. So this is basically a, uh, a part one kind of video, because I've got the other two members, which I'll save for another video, probably the next Transformers video. So consider this part one of the Rescue Force saga, I suppose, even though it's not really a saga. Anyway, you're not here to hear me waffle, you're here to watch me talk about the toys and say if they're worthwhile. So, it's got no, 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 so let's get on with the video. I can't even talk today. Okay, so here we are with Drillhorn and Jaruga. And before we get on to the actual toys themselves, I just want to mention what a good choice it was on Hasbro's part to use these uh, these figures as a rescue force team because I can totally buy that drill horn here is a rescue drill for like saving people from mountains and stuff and uh, say earthquake disasters and again uh, a hilltop kind of rescue with Jaruga I, again I can totally buy into it that he's some kind of mountain ranged vehicle or dune buggy esque uh, force and what really helps this kind of come across is the colors have used yellow uh, has been used before in other kind of rescue vehicles in America. I have seen random yellow fire engines and stuff, which is weird, but whatever. And again, uh, safety uh, stripes here. I don't, I don't know if they are safety stripes, but this kind of effect always made me think when I was a child of kind of uh, rescue or danger or warnings. So including these on the vehicles was a nice idea. And again, yellow and blue are very nice colours and they, they contrast quite well against each other. They look, they look good. They look part of the same team uh, just because of the style of them, but they work together. They don't clash, uh, say, like some of the uh, Generation 2 combiner repaint colours, like the Constructicons being, well, G2 Constructicon colours. So first, we will take Jaruga away and we'll have a look here at Drillhorn. So as we lower the camera down and tilt it up, we'll have a quick look at his detail now. And uh, he's got some really nice detail, especially on uh, the treads here and uh, bits. You've got separate three individual wheels and yeah, you turn him upside down. He's like every other combiner team member. He is very very all there. <laughs> I don't, I, you know, legs, head, you can tell these are the arms, but you know, that's what you got with all the combiners, but moving on. The drill is, it, it is what it is. It's a drill. Um, I mean, you couldn't really have had this sharp, so he's kind of stubby at the end of his uh, drill, but you know, they couldn't really have sold you a sharp uh, drill end, otherwise you'd be jabbing people in the eye. I think I remember jabbing a lot of my toys with uh, my original drill horn as a kid, because of course he would uh, drive into scene, out of the ground, hit them in the chest, and continue moving, as was my playstyle as a child. Uh, and I do generally like the detail on the top here. Uh, I like the giant cockpit. I, I would like this have been uh, to have been transparent or translucent with like a little seat inside, but I know that it's asking way too much that they had done that, so I, I don't mind that it's, it's left blue. It's, again, a nice light blue, contrasting to the yellow so and the general design of just the back here is again quite nice and interesting and I always used to pretend that these two parts on the side here were guns so if I hadn't got these attached which I didn't because I was a kid and they got lost fairly easily uh, I'd use these as his weapons and you know it, they worked for what it was and you know I think he looks like a nice drill if I could I would have the original drill horn but uh, he's not cheap uh, so that's really all I have to say about uh, Drillhorn here in his uh, drill mode. Uh, strangely enough, because he's Drillhorn, whatever. Uh, we will move on and have a look at Jaruga. Now Jaruga, I I never like quite as much as Drillhorn as a kid. Uh, he is a very nice buggy kind of uh, vehicle, but there's always something about the the whole. These are basically his legs flipping over the back of him 
which I never really liked as a kid. He does look like a nice kind of dune buggy racer, and I say racer mainly because of the the bumper here. This always reminded me of the, the random kind of speed buggy things you'd see at um, dirt bike races and stuff. I don't know why it reminded me of that, but it always did. And again, uh, I would have preferred, like I said for Drillhorn, uh, that the light blue there and the light blue there was translucent, but you deal with what you get. And I again, I know that because of the gimmick, uh, which is of course, you know, We'll get onto that. There's n there's no room to do that, but things that would have been nice would have been that. Anyway, uh, there, there's always a, a strange point that I had as a kid, which I'll point out now, and it's his guns. Uh, I won't talk about his guns in detail now, but as a kid, I was never sure how these went on, because I, I never knew what the pegs were for uh, as a kid, even though there are holes on the gun, obviously. The way I used to do it as a kid was I used to push them into the uh, the feet slots here really oh, come on there we go and have it like that uh, and in this day and age I don't really know what I was thinking it looks more war vehicle esque with the guns here uh, and not as good they they do work a lot better I think on the side but I only know that thanks to pictures and whatnot uh, so yeah whatever uh, ni nice wheels there, there's not as much detail in this vehicle mode because you know most of it is the robot mode just kind of lying face down uh, at least with uh, drill horn there's a lot more or they seem to be a lot more to the vehicle mode uh, there's nothing essentially wrong with it there's just nothing exciting about it I would say and so with that being said since we've we've done the vehicle modes of both of these guys I suppose uh, we should have a look at the robot modes and so we have them in their robot modes. And I know what you're thinking, with angles like this, dramatic Vangelis angle. Yeah, so anyway, on with the video, I suppose. And uh, since we started off with uh, Drillhorn before, we will get him out of the way and we'll talk about Jaruga. Now, Jaruga looks an awful lot better in this mode than he did in his uh, vehicle mode. And we'll just pop his guns off because they are just going to get in the way, unfortunately, I'm afraid. Uh, and excuse me as I adjust my camera uh, he's got some really nice looking detail on him and the face is really what I liked about these guys back when I was a kid but always confused me because I never understood why they had this um, animalistic uh, styled uh, helmet over the, the head obviously now I know because they were part of the breast forced and uh, it did relate to the the animal that they'd had in their chest, but with these, well, you didn't get that. Uh, but I do really like the the head sculpt. There's there's quite a lot of character, I think, in the the eyes and the mouth, and even just the style of the head, uh, which which always kind of shone through for me as a as a kid. And I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, an interesting fact is, uh, yes, you did get the the breast force slot, I suppose, uh, and again, as a kid, I always wondered why you could push his back in and there were these two clips on the side. Uh, little did I know that technically this toy was missing pieces, only, w when I say missing pieces, obviously, I mean the breast force, because these didn't come with the breast force pieces, it's not like someone sold me a duffer, uh, I'll, I'll just say that now. <laughs> But I would assume, since I don't actually have any of the the breast force figures, uh, the prop the proper ones anyway, that uh, you can I would I would assume stick the the breast force into the slot and you'd be fine and dandy. Uh, and he he's got some nice detail on him. He's got a nice an okay kind of hand mold there, which looks all right, I suppose. I mean it's it's hollow on the inside and uh, it's it's not a desperately long arm, but. That's just so it fits in with the. Sorry, yeah, fits in with the the vehicle mode. His legs, again, are okay. They look a lot better here than they did in, uh, in vehicle mode. Just simply because this was the roof, and you know you could see his feet, and you could see the divide for his legs. Uh, but again, it works a lot better here. And we will talk about these two bits in another review in in the future. Uh, and that's really all I can say about Jaruga, because 
let's be honest, there's not much to him. Uh, but I will briefly go over his uh, two weapons, one which I'm holding now. Uh, I'm not sure, or at least I can't remember if these have a specific name. If they do, cool. If they don't, way. Whatever, the guns, I suppose. Uh, and they differ quite a lot from the original. The original had missiles. Uh, instead of guns because well his breast force member became a gun so there was no need to have him have extra guns but of course since these didn't have the breast force pieces they needed some weapons and you know these are quite n I mean then they're, they're not amazing weapons but they have a nice unique look to them uh, which I, I kind of like I, I can't remember seeing any other gun uh, from Transformers that looked exactly like this kind of like maybe a concussion pistol and if that's the case it, I you know, he's, he's dual wielding pistols, uh, which is never a bad thing if you've played any computer game in your life and you're like, yeah, why have one pistol when you can have two dog and you can be like shooting dudes up in the faces and whatnot and be like, yo boy, I'm gonna stick my pimp daddy guns in your pimp daddy face and blow your pimp daddy face off. Yeah, I say pimp daddy, don't judge. Uh, again, that is really all I can comment on Jaruga. He, he, he's... Well, I'll get on to my final thoughts a bit later. We've got this guy to talk about now. And again, Drillhorn is, in my opinion, a lot nicer figure than uh, than Jaruga. Uh, but that may be because he's got cool black and cool yellow. And if people should know that black and yellow go together very nicely, especially in my opinion. And again, what makes his face much better than... Jaruga's is, although Jaruga's face was, when I bring, bring him into shot, was white and silver, uh, masking a lot of the nice detail. The black, excuse me for the focus, the black and silver uh, highlight it a lot better. Uh, as you can see, it's a lot easier to pick out on the camera, uh, though it is a little bit more difficult to pick out the nice detail on the head, but it's still there. And again, uh, a nice characterful face. You could believe that this is an Autobot face. I mean, you know the fiction of victory. You know that this is not the case. You know that uh, that Drillhorn is not a nice cup of tea or a kettle of fish or peas, rice, and fish. That one didn't mean anything. But uh, Again, a nice face. You can believe is, you know, an Autobot, which is which is what it's meant to do. It's meant you meant to believe that he is an Autobot. Uh, one thing I don't like as much on Drillhorn here let me adjust El Camarora, is the implementation of how they uh, included the Breast Force piece. I'll bring in Jaruga again. Jaruga, of course, as I knock his arm down, had this nice kind of uh, spring-loaded chest piece moving forward, which covered up uh, the, the gaping hole, uh, while Drillhorn here just has a big hole in his chest. And, of course, it would have plugged in his Breast Force and hidden that hole up nicely. Uh, and it doesn't give off as nice of an effect as as Jaruga's chest. It's just very plain, unfortunately, underneath. I mean, you got nice stickers, uh, which are actually showing up a lot better on the camera than they are using my normal eyes, which is bizarre. Anyway, uh, what I like to do as a kid is... This bit is something we'll talk about later, but as a kid, I like to put that up and say, Chestal Cannon Fire! I was a kid. Don't judge me. Uh, yeah, a lot nicer. I preferred... I did prefer Jaruga's, but I did have quite a bit of fun with Drillhorn's chest door cannon. As I liked it. Well, I like to say now I just called it chest cannon when I was a kid, but let me go. L let me dream, kids. An interesting note about the hands, uh, first off of all, obviously, all the detail kept on the outside, is that, uh, about the hands anyway, just the shape of them kind of looks like they were constructed upside down usually you'd have the uh, the the wider part here at the top for you know a fist kind of shape uh, it's just very strange that they went they opted for the other way around and you know they do have some articulation the articulation in Jaruga was nothing to point out and it's nothing to point out here they are what they are they're combiners uh, they don't have anything the legs uh, again I prefer a lot more here just because they are not visible in the robot mode and I do like the the giant treads kind of protecting them like big pieces of armor it's kind of a cop-out way of saying I like them but I, I do there's something nifty about them uh, and 
will again briefly talk about uh, his weapons here. And yes, these ones are red. Um, this was not my original drill horn figure. The original one has gone into the mists of time, as so many of my other poor Transformers have. His drill weapons here were silver, like Jeruga's. Uh, and there have been many different... Well, not many different, but there seem to have been two releases of these guys, and I'm not sure, honestly, what the difference is, but one came with red set of weapons and the other came with the silver. I have, as you can tell, one from one, one from the other. Uh, that is the only difference I've noticed, but excusing that, we'll just move Jaruga there to the side. Uh, and the drill weapons here are quite nice. Again, they... I assume they put this bit on the end to give it more of a gun look and also to get rid of the, the pointiness of it. Though the the bits around the side are a little... They're not really sharp, but they, they're a little pointy. Uh, but I do prefer the shape of this gun a lot more. It looks very futuristic-y. I, I could see this in, like, maybe a Star Trek episode, like, I don't know, a Ferengi kind of weapon where they go pew. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I kind of dig it. There's nothing... I think it's just because it's different, I like it. You didn't see many guns like this that I can recall off the top of my head, but yeah, a cool weapon. I like it. Uh, so we'll take that away and we'll talk about these guys for one last time now as we wrap up this review. Okay, so my final thoughts on these guys are I, I dig them. However, I may just dig them because they are from my childhood and I may just be a little bit biased, but... Uh, I think for the time they came out, which was, I would guess, because I haven't done my research, apologies, I would guess around early 90s, late 80s, that kind of time period, uh, that they were good. They, would, they were, in my opinion, a lot nicer than the normal combiner team members, just purely on the basis because they were a lot bigger, as I bring in uh, weird King Neptune critter dude here. Uh, as you can see, the the other guys tower over him. I'll take him off and transform him while I, I continue to talk about these guys, if you excuse me. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a lot nicer. They have a really cool color scheme. I dug the color scheme of these guys. Uh, there was nothing wrong with it. And again, if you hear random clicking, it's just me transforming him. Uh, and it, it worked well for the time period that they came out in. The bright colors and everything worked very nicely together. Uh, with these guys and like I said you can just see how big these are in comparison to normal combiners because you know this guy is the size of a normal kind of vortex breakdown etc etc and you, you look at him and you look at these and you can tell these are the better quality figures or at least I think so if you don't that's that's cool as well um but yeah this is, I guess, part one of my Rescue Force review. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed it. If you can pick these up, um, and you don't... I'd say only pick them up if, one, you had them potentially as a kid and you like them, yeah, like I did. Uh, two, you like you really like the Breast Force and you think, yeah, I could do with some Autobot kind of parts. Uh, or three, you like the 90s, you don't mind G2 uh, or G1.5 before G2 came out, that kind of thing. If you can dig that, then I think you can have a lot of fun with these and, you know, very fun to transform as I'm doing this one on screen, which I didn't do earlier because I don't care too much. Uh, they are fun, they do look good, um, and I will say that that's about all from me. Uh, thank you guys again for watching as I try and again close this video up. Uh, and I'll see you next time for the other two members. Uh, catch you later, guys. This doesn't consist of rescue! Destroy! Destroy! I'm gonna get ya!